So today, I'm going to show you how to install this game and play it for free. I mean, the game's free as well. Online, for free, in 2024. This game's over 20 years old. This is a bit of a, well, it's very much a nostalgia rush for me. Because I spent far too much time playing this many years ago. When I had a, lots and lots of time on my hand. On my hands, not on my hand, on my hands. So I'm going to show you how to install this today. And it's all free, everything's free, even the game. So first and foremost, I'll show you where to get it from. Now I know I normally do uh, VR games, but like I said, this is a nostalgia rush for me. This is where it all started. This is when I had my first PC. Uh, first of all, you need to come to this site here. I'll leave the link in the description. And it says install, but this is it, what it means is download. So you need to download this, which is the game itself. It takes about 20 minutes. It took me 20 minutes. Uh, and then you install this, which is the discovery mod, which allows you to play online. And as it says here very clearly, your antivirus software might find a false positive. It's this file here. So turn your, your antivirus software off just until you've downloaded and installed this. And if you can find that, add it to your exceptions that day. So, once you've downloaded them two, I want you to make a little file like this and call it Freelancer. You can call it what you want, but I called it Freelancer. And then inside this folder, sorry, create another folder and name that Freelancer Game. So there's a discovery mod. I've dragged and dropped that in there. And here is the game. So I'm going to extract that into this folder. I'm going to select it and I'm going to select extract here that one there there it goes got all these and all you have to do is double click on setup i'm not going to do that because i've already done it but that's all you have to do double click on setup and it'll install everything close that down and then once you've done that double click on this and this will set everything up as well very quickly very easy it's a piece of piss right now You've done that, you cannot start the game from that little icon, which will appear on your desktop. It won't work. Don't ask me why, I don't know. What you have to do is down here, see this here where it says type here to search? We need to type in there is discovery, and this discovery icon will pop up. Select that, and uh, pin it to your taskbar, or pin it to your start menu. I've already pinned it to my taskbar, so you'll find it here. There it is. I'm going to double click on that now and start the game. There you go. That was easy enough. Now you'll get this patch game. See it? It's, it's not highlighted at the moment because I've already patched the game. Click on that and patch the game. Again, it takes a couple of minutes to do this. You can go through your settings, but there's nothing you need to change. You won't have this, this account. Not at the beginning. You'll have to play the game first. There you go. Now let's launch the game. Oh, bit of a flicker there. Ooh. First of all, we're going to... New game. I'm, oh, look at this. Just, just seeing this again brings back so many good memories. Life seemed to be a lot simpler then. And I know the graphics are crap. But I think it's aged very, very well. And have I mentioned, all this is free. You don't have to pay for any of it. And you don't even need a good PC. You can have a really shitty PC. You can have a 20 year old PC and it will run fine. So I'll just, those of you who haven't played this, it's a great storyline that he's got going. And you have to make a load of money and do certain things. And then you can upgrade your ships because these are all ships i had the best ship going me see look you can buy other ships but you need to go to other planets to get better and better ships and it's massive let me just show you the map so this is where i am now i'm on this planet planet manhattan we'll go to the uh, universe map there look at this france that's that's where i am new york that's the system new york new tokyo is a system new berlin and New London and when you're going into the multiplayer the map it will be it will be a lot bigger and a lot more things to do in multiplayer because it's a mod so it adds things to the game isn't that brilliant uh, 
we can go to the bar. I'm not going to show you everything because I don't want to spoil everything. Look, it looks really shit, but actually it's really, really good. You can talk to all these people in here. Uh, these people you have to give money to, and they'll do you favours. They'll do things for you, like get you involved with other factions. Uh, but, oh, they're all after doing your favours at the moment, so they all want cash off you at the moment. Or you can go here and get some work. Jobs board. Some of these will offer you jobs normally. I'm obviously in the wrong place, different planets, different space stations. You can log, you can uh, dock with them all and land there and have a look round. So we're going to take off into space. Duh, and we launch from here. Ooh. Do 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 do. This is so. When I first played it last night, I was overwhelmed. There's a little tear in my eye. I was that overwhelmed. Look. Let's have a look at this planet. Look at that. Doesn't that remind you of No Man's Sky? Reminds me. This is why I was so excited for No Man's Sky. You can dock at these space stations. I'll just show you how this works. You click on it, or you can click on here. And dock. Oh, look, a spaceship. You can attack that if you want, but I'm not going to. Oh, my guns are turned off at the moment, because I'm about to dock. You can't fire your guns when you're traveling uh, through these little gates and there's big gates as well which will get you to right across the solar system not the solar system the universe to other solar systems look isn't that brilliant i want to find a, a large gate so i can show you something else which is very reminiscent of no man's sky i'm just gonna let's hope i don't get attacked Go here. I'm just going to set a waypoint. That's the star. So waypoint. I'm just going to cut there. It is waypoint. Ooh. Ooh. I think I've just come through this, but never mind. Dock. Yes, we want to dock. Sounds a little bit like uh, Alexa, that doesn't it? 20 years ago, or 21 years ago. dock at that planet I'm gonna click on this down here there. Oh, oh. this will take us to a, a big gate I hope it might not do if it doesn't I'm just going to close the game down and we'll go into multiplayer I don't think there's a big gate there I can't see one no no there isn't so we'll just go into multiplayer you press F1 quit to main menu here we are multiplayer Select multiplayer. This used to be full of them, hundreds of hundreds of players. Now there's 27 online. Now just a minute ago there were 35 online. My ping's 26. That's okay. Uh, I used to go online and they'd be during the day four or five at this time of day. And this is 20 years ago. This sorry, this is about 15 years ago. There'd be four or five people online. You wait until later on in the afternoon when people are circle down and finish work then you'd get 50 70 100 people on and you could it was a i just had a great laugh and a great time some really good people uh let's connect loading select that and then load character wow here we are there's nobody near me at the moment. Oh, look. 
New player. That's not me. I think my weapons are a lot better. Now, is there a big gate I can go through? And I could, there it is. There's a big gate. Let's just click on that and launch. Well, dock, not launch. Ooh. Look at that. See, the graphics are... I'm impressed. I think they've aged very well. And it's free. So it doesn't matter. So if you if you want to download this, did I mention free game? Uh, by all means, do so. Enjoy it. You will enjoy it. And it, if you're lucky, you might see me. And if you do, I will kill you. Isn't this brilliant? I'll definitely kill you. It's just the kind of guy I am. I forgot how to. I used to be pretty good at combat because it's a very good combat game. It's one of the best ones that were ever made. Space games for combat. It's brilliant. Oh. Loot planets and everything. So just before I go, I just want to show you this official video, a little bit of it from the Discovery uh, servers. Well, the people who made the Discovery Freelancer mod. And this is what it's like when the server has got quite a few people on it. This is Discovery Freelancer Multiplayer. Explore the Sirius Sector, a cluster of over 100 star systems filled with adventure, conflict and mysteries. Whether you align yourself with one of the densely populated houses or strike out into the savage independent systems to make your own way, Discovery allows you to live out your role online with hundreds of other players. Immerse yourself in a persistent online story that has developed over the last 17 years, exploring the aftermath of Freelancer's campaign. 833 years have passed since humanity arrived in the series. So that's enough of that, but doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look brilliant? If you forgot how to install it, this little video also tells you how to install it. Anyway, I'm going now. So, bye.